Hi guys, Rachie Bop here. Welcome to this video in which I'm going to talk about the controls in The Sims 4 on console. First of all, thank you so much to EA for giving me this code for early access to The Sims 4 on console on my PlayStation 4. Yes, I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is a rundown of the controls. The controls can always be accessed by pressing L3 and that's going to always bring up the controls and it always reminds you of that on the top right hand corner of the screen. And the controls will change slightly in the different section of the game. So for example, this is the controls in cast, these are the controls in build mode, and these are the controls in live slash live mode. I found them very easy to guess and to get used to and extremely easy to reference at any time. I was expecting it to be difficult and to be held back quite a lot but actually it was very intuitive and also you can switch between actually having the cursor on the screen and to the user interface by just clicking the box thing, whatever it is, at the, the top of the middle of the controller. I don't know what that's called, but that's what it is. And once you know that and you know that L3 is to get into the, to look at what the controls are, everything else is pretty much what you would guess it would be. Um, if you do want to access the cheat menu, you need to press all the bumpers at the same time so l1 l2 r1 r2 all at the same time and what i will say about that is it is very easy to speed up your game when you do that by accident so please be careful and keep an eye on that because you might just speed it up by accident and then that lays over it so you can't like slow it down without going back out of that menu so just something to be aware of so those are the controls. I've also done some separate videos about the console version. I'll put links to those in the description, including how I feel about the controls. So don't forget to check those out. Let me know if you have any questions about this. I'll try my best to answer those for you. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.